Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Game Drone Tutorials. We are continuing with the Space Shooter series. Um, my face cam is still on, of course. Um, it might not always be on, but what we did last time is we just made the game look a lot better using post-processing. Okay, nice. Okay, so today we will be finishing the shooting. So right now, when we turn up, uh, when we turn up the fire rate, it does not affect anything yet. So today we will fix that. So let's just go into our player sheet script by double clicking on it to open it up in Visual Studio. So loading, so loading. Oh yeah, by the way, um. Your, your Visual Studio probably does not look like this. It might, but probably not. Um, but uh, change it to the dark theme, or this theme. Not quite, but... Uh, I don't really, really remember. Yep, tools, options, then in the general, you can just switch the theme to, to dark. Then just press OK. Okay, so I'll be I introducing you to parameters and invokes. So, to start off, um, a parameter is something that you have to input into these brackets or braces or whatever, um, and it will just uh, apply to this. So, the first thing that I want to do is add a transform. This will be the fire point. And we just want to add one more. This will be game object. And this will be uh, the projectile. Okay, it's not how you spell it. There we go. Okay. So now, um, you will see that this takes on a fire point. So, for this, we can say fire point dot position, fire point dot rotation, and instead of the bullet, it will instantiate the projectile both times, but I'm, I'm going to delete these two because I only want this base shooting class. And I'll just call it bullet geo instead of bullet one geo, or, ga or game object. So now we need to input the fire point and the projectile. Um, so for the fire point, this will be fire point one, and the projectile will be bullet. And it should work exactly the same, but it should only fire out of one fire point. So let's just test. Yep, it only fires out of one fire point. And it should still delete the bullets. Yep. So now all I have to do to make it f fire out of two fire points is let's we'll call the shoot me method again, but this time input fire point two, but still the bullet projectile. Okay, so now it should act exactly the same way, which should shoot two bullets out of two fire points. Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. So what time? Three, four minutes. Okay. So now let's actually make this fire rate actually work. So what I will do, um, at the top, uh, I'll just click here, then press enter. If fire rate is equal to zero, so fire rate zero is just simple clicking. But if it increases over zero, then you will hold the uh, the button down to shoot. So now we can just do the curly braces. Now, if we go back into Unity, if you set the fire rate to zero, it will do the exact same thing. But if we set it Something like 0 0.25, it will not shoot at all. That's good. That's what that is what we want. So now we can just say 
else if, so it's basically saying, so it's checking if the fire rate is zero, and if it's not, and if the fire rate is greater than zero, then you'll say the same thing, input dot get mouse button, zero, not down. We will just call shoot method twice. So with the fire point and the bullet, and yet again, shoot method, fire point two with the bullet. This might not work, but that is why we are going to test it. Okay, here we go. So if we click, still the single shot, but now, yep, this is a volley of bullets. <laughs> okay, so that somewhat worked, but I have a different way of doing it, and I think it's a better way. So, I will change the input to input dot get mouse button down instead of mouse button, and instead of shoot method, I'll say invoke repeating. And then in parentheses, shoot quotation marks. Then I believe you have to input the fire rate. Actually, we can just say zero f fire rate. So this is just saying this is just saying that we will um, the starting time. So when we click, how much time will start to actually. Um, Shoot, and then this fire rate is how much time is in between. Okay, this might not work once again, so I'm just gonna same thing. We might actually have to, and make sure that you spell this the same way as you spell it here. Just you know, we might also have to switch it back to the way we started with the shoot method. I'm not entirely sure. But maybe not. Let's just hope that. Okay, still single shot. One. Yeah. Saying that it cannot be called because there are no parameters. So I think we input them here. I don't really remember, so I'm just gonna copy this. Oh, we want to copy this, paste that, then say bullet, copy that, bullet. I think that might work. I don't know how the invoke with parameters works. I've never actually tried it before, but let's just try it. Since single shot still works. Yeah. Okay. We have to switch it back. <laughs> so we can just delete these. And we do not need these parameters. So we can just delete them. Delete that. We only need one. Stand sheet bullet at fire point one dot position. Fire paint one dot rotation. Then we can just du duplicate this by clicking on the line that we want to select. Then just pressing Control D on Windows, Command D on Mac, and it will auto automatically duplicate the line. So I'm just say game object bullet geo one is equal to instantiate that. Then bullet geo two is equal to instantiate bullet fire point two dot position fire point two dot rotation. Then we can just duplicate this destroy one. Instead of destroying bullet geo one, it will destroy bullet bullet geo two. Then don't forget, we have to put this back. So yet again, we will just say invoke or repeating the shoot method. Make sure yet again you spell it correctly with zero f. So it will take no time for it to actually start shooting and input fire rate so that is the time uh, between shots there is one issue that you will notice 
but I'll just show it to you. Okay, so if we click and hold, then let go, it will not stop shooting. That's a pretty easy fix though. So we can just jump back into Visual Studio, and after the if mouse button down, we can just say, else, so if it's not down, there's another method called cancel invoke. Shoot. So now it'll just uh, stop this method from running. So it's basically just canceling this out. And then that should be all, actually. Okay. So now if we shoot. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's go back into. Visual Studio. Okay, so instead of saying else, we say else if input dot get mouse button up mouse button zero. Then I believe that should work. Okay, let's go back into you Unity and just test this. And that is what coding is about. You fail, so you uh, fix it and you move on. Okay, so now we can continually shoot, and now when we let go, it will stop shooting. Beautiful. And if we crank this really up, or really low, it will just... Wow. Yep, it can't even do it anymore, because I put the value so low. Oh my gosh. And don't worry, it will still put the fire rate at zero. It will still do single shots. Okay. Beautiful. Um, and I believe, um, I believe that is actually it for this video. Pretty short. Um, well, it's it if you do not want the explanation. I'm just going to explain it to you right now, but if you do not want the explanation, go, go on to the next video if there is a, a next video. Because, you know, I'm just posting it today. <laughs> okay, so, to explain this, here we go. So, this is saying, if our fire rate is equal to zero, the double equal sign means equal to zero, so it has to be that specific number. If it's anything more, it will not do it. If it's anything less, it won't do it. So if the fire rate is specifically zero, and if we get the left mouse button down, then it will just call shoot, and that's it. And that is how we get the single shot. So then, if the fire rate is not zero, it will do another check to make sure that the fire rate is over zero. And if it is, and if we get the mouse button down, then it will just call the shoot method over and over. So, um... The shoot method, uh, the, these parentheses, is just calling the shoot method. I don't really know why it takes in a string, but I don't know. And then there's zero, or zero F, because it's a float. I, 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 prefer, I prefer to write zero F. You do not ha have to do that unless it is a float. And I'll tell you when, when, when it's a float in the future so you know. So the zero F means... So this is basically the slot where it takes in the time um, before it actually starts doing it. So here's an example. So if I hold the mouse button down, and if this is at 1, then it will not shoot until that 1 second is up. So we want it to be 0, because then it will instantly shoot. Then... We will we input another value that is the fire rate, and this basically is the fire rate. It's the time between the intervals, so it's the time between shooting. Then, what this is saying, if we do not get the mouse button down, and if we get the mouse button up, then it will just stop shooting. Cancel invoke just makes this non-existent. 
and that pretty much the whole explanation. And once we get all through that, we get this. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm just set the fire rate back to zero. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, so yeah, I'll see you on the next video of the Space Shooter Game. Bye guys, see you next time.